Hello everyone, welcome to the introductory lecture on mechanics of machinery. This is one of the most interesting course for mechanical engineers as you can see in the screen. We will be studying about all of these mechanisms and animations in this subject. So let's get into this one. So mechanics of machinery or you can consider it more of as a kinematics of machinery where you are studying the relative motions of different parts of a mechanism without taking into consideration the forces which are producing the motion or you can consider this subject as a study from a geometric point of view only where you are studying the displacement velocity and acceleration angles of the mechanism without considering the force which are producing the motions so if you are considering the forces which are producing this motions then the subject will be a new one which is known as dynamics of machinery which you will be covering in the later engineering educations so we will be beginning with the fundamentals of this subject. So first you have to understand what is a mechanism and what is a machine. Mechanism is simply a combination of bodies or elements assembled in such a way that the motion of one element will be making constrained and predictable motion to the other. Means the purpose of a mechanism is to transmit and modify the motion. Here you can see a mechanism which is known as slider crank mechanism where a crank is undergoing a rotational motion and that rotational motion is converted into reciprocating motion of the slider. So there is a modification of motion from rotation to translation is happening and that motion is being transmitted through a and link called connecting rod. So this is an example for a mechanism. Now we will be seeing what is a machine. So machine is simply a mechanism or combination of mechanisms where apart from the transmission as well as modification of motion there is transmission as well as modification of energy is also happening so earlier we have discussed the slider crank mechanism and this can be considered or used in an ic engine where the production of energy or conversion of energy into a mechanical work is happening for that you may have to add some other mechanism along with the slider crank mechanism example you can have a valve mechanism so here if you are considering here you are having a cylinder in which piston is reciprocating connecting rod is there and crank is there so you are having slider crank mechanism but if it is to work as an engine the to have power production within the cylinder so you have to add the valve mechanism and for actuating this valve cam will be required and cam will be operated through this uh, belt to drive so different mechanisms are required for having this transmission as well as modification or where power is being transmitted and converted into some desired so machine is a combination of mechanism so this is the basic difference between mechanism and machine so we'll be studying in detail about all of these mechanisms and machines in the coming uh, lectures so First, we will be beginning with the term which is known as link or kinematic link more technically or you can call it as a element. So similar to cells in biology, we are having link in this mechanism where this link is the basic building block of any mechanism. We will be calling it as kinematic link. It is the member which is connecting to other members and having a relative motion between them. So if you are considering the mechanism shown here, you can see four number of links where it is forming a mechanism where you are it is numbered as fixed link one and there is an input link two where input motion is being provided and that is being transmitted to the output link four and that motion is transmitted through this uh, blue link which is known as coupling link this term we will be seeing when we are discussing the four bar mechanism so this is a mechanism and where the links are having relative motion so the elements of any mechanism which are having relative motion in between them is known as link or kinematic link or element so here we will be studying the classification of element before that what it is made up of link is made up of a rigid body or a resistant body what is a rigid body a rigid body is a body which is not undergoing any deformation under the action of forces Earlier we have seen a 4 bar mechanism where all links are rigid body. But is it necessary to have the link should be a rigid body in our mechanism? No. The link can also be a resistant body. Resistant body is only which is acting as rigid only for the purpose. 
Example, here you are seeing a belt drive. So where belt is connecting the different driver driving and driven pulleys. But if you are considering a belt alone, it is not a rigid body. It, it will be undergoing deformations when it is subjected to force. But whenever it is fit into this pulleys and it is made to work, this will be transferring the motion and it will be transferring power from the driving pulley to driven pulley. So even though it is not a rigid body, it will be acting as a rigid body under the action of this tensile force developed within the belt. So for a mechanism, the links within the mechanism can be a resistant body, need not be a rigid body to function or to transmit and modify the motion or for a machine to the energy transmission and modification. So link can be a resistant body. Now we will be studying the classification of this links mainly the links are classified based on the number of connections that can be made with the other link so if you are having based on this classification you are having binary link ternary link quaternary link here if you are looking for the binary link here i am having a node and one node here so total two nodes are here or two connection points are here where I can make connections with nearby link. So it is known as binary link. In ternary link, you are having three connection points where I can make connections with other links. It is not depending upon how many links I can connect at any single node. It is based on the number of connection points a link can offer. So in ternary link can offer three connection nodes or points and a quaternary link can offer four connection Point. So this is the classification of links based on the number of ends with which connections can be made with another. So here uh, we have seen this four bar mechanism earlier. Here you can see all links here link fixed link is here. It is making connection with the input link to at this point and the output link at this point. So here all these links are binary links. And here we will be seeing another mechanism. This is uh, some complex mechanism we are having. We will be studying the uh, about these things in later sections. So anyway, if you are seeing the link which is numbered as 2 and 7. This 2 and 7 are ternary links where these links are having 3 connection points or 3 connection nodes. If I am uh, drawing this uh, link 7 separately, here it is having 3 connection points or where I can make connection with the nearby links. So this link 7 is a ternary link. And if you are considering this mechanism, this is known as backhoe digging mechanism, which is used in the JCBs. If you are considering the link 1, it is a link which are having four connection point where I can make connection with the other link. So this link 1 is a quaternary link. So this is the classification of link or kinematic links or elements. Next, you will be seeing the joints and its type what is a joint so it is the point about which two or more links are making connection based on the number of links that are getting joined at a point we are having classification for this joints also which is known as binary joint ternary joint and quaternary joint we will be seeing all these things in detail first we will be taking binary joint binary joint forms when two links are joined at the same connection point and that joint is known as binary joint here you can see here you are seeing two figures in the upper figure you are having a binary link please understand or uh, clearly the distinction between this binary link and binary joint binary link is the element which you are having two connection points and binary joint is a point where two links are getting joined. So here one binary link is there and another binary link is there. So it is making connection to this point. So at this point or joint, two links are joined. So it is a binary joint. And this is also a binary joint where a ternary link and a binary link are getting joined. So this is the example for binary joint. Next, we will be seeing ternary joint. It is the point where three links are making connection. So if you are seeing here, three binary links are there, which are getting joined at this point. So three links are joined. So it is known as ternary joint. Here all links are of binary link type. And here if you are seeing a binary link is here, another binary link is here. 
and another quaternary link is there it can also be a ternary link also so anyway three link three links or elements are joining at this point to form a ternary joint so these are the examples for ternary joint and if you are seeing a ternary joint is equivalent to two binary joint so here three binary links are joining at a point to form a ternary joint if you are fixing any link at a time if i am fixing a binary link one at a time then it can make connections with the other two links in this way so here this ternary joint is equivalent to two binary join so this one is an example for binary join and another one binary join so you can split a ternary join into two binary joins similarly quaternary join is the point where four links are making connection so if you are seeing in this figure all links are of binary type so here binary link 1 binary link 2 binary link 3 binary link 4 are making connection at this point so it will be forming a quaternary join where where four links are getting joined if you are observing this one here you are having a binary link 1 binary link 2 a ternary link and another quaternary link are joining at this point so at this point four links are getting joined so it is known as quaternary joint so you have to clearly understand the distinction between this joint and type what is binary link what is binary joint and all you have to understand so if you are considering you can have this quaternary joint is equivalent to three binary joints for example if you are having four binary links to form a quaternary joint at this point you can split into three equivalent binary joints by fixing any link at a time so here i am fixing binary link 1 and it can make connections with binary link 3 to form a binary join here another binary join and here another binary join so a quaternary link is equivalent to three binary join so far we have got an introduction into the subject then we have studied the basic building block link next we have studied about the types of link and about joins and its classification so that's all for the introductory lecture on next lecture we'll be having a uh, class or understanding about the kinematic pairs so what that's what you are seeing on the screen so in next lecture we'll be seeing so thanks